now because they're, uh, they just turn you on. A mindset that was this is not just about what we do in the studio and special effects and clever clever technology this is about being able to take what we do out of the studio and put it on stage and you fall no one as with every other song on burn or subsequent or previous albums from deep purple was a song that easily translated into the live environment and like everyone else came alive it had that most amazing drum pattern and bass line in it you know i mean every drummer tries to copy that when they're just warming up. You never hear it played in a song anywhere these days, but it's, you know, they all seem to be able to play it now, you know. It's a tricky song to do on stage. I think it's a tricky song, uh, probably a st tricky song they had to do in a record. So those sort of songs, they either really fly out of the box at the night or they don't. It just depends how if a band are firing. I think if a band's not having a really good night, so songs like that tend to suffer. Because I think you've really got to be on it timing-wise, etc. And if you're not really on it, it tends to be a little bit gray. Those, that, that song could stretch out for 15 minutes some night, like Space Trucking or The Mule or whatever from Mark II. You from now on, as with my songs today, they grow. I don't like the idea of going on stage. Sometimes it's okay to make a three minute song three minutes, but I might stretch things out because it's the kind of era I come from. I like to, 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 uh, to push myself and I insist on my band doing that. That's what happened in Deep Purple. I think it was a bit, just maybe a bit too much of a stretch for Deep Purple to, you know, it was, it's much more folk, you know, it's just, it's a bit too bright in a way, you know, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel, uh, there's no real weight behind it. Just didn't quite sit right with the set, I think that's probably the best thing to say. Mm -hmm. 